Hello everyone, welcome to Moto Mangi. Today I'm going to be placing the front brake pads on my Gold Wing, a 2018 Gold Wing DCT. The front brakes are starting to feel a little worn out. I looked at the wear on the pads on the side of the caliper and they look low to me. I have just over 23,000 miles on the Gold Wing, so I figured it's probably time to replace them anyway. This is my first time replacing the front brake pads on the bike, so let me show you how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> let me show you how I'm gonna do it as I'm learning how to do it. <laughs> Alright, first thing is first. The goalie has dual front discs, so there are two sets of brake pads to replace on each side of the bike. Now you can see there are two caliper bolts holding on the brake caliper. One at the top, bottom, one at the top. And they're easy to get to, they're not hard at all. 14 millimeter bolts. So, let's take the bolts off. I'm gonna use a breaker bar because I'm sure the bolts are torqued down pretty good. That broke loose pretty easy, actually. Wow, far easier than I expected. <laughs> now we just take these bolts out. There's one. Huh. They're hollow bolts. That's interesting. Alright. There's two bolts out. This should just pop right off. bad oh crap yeah those pads were low <laughs> there we can you can see how low those pads are there's not much meat left on them now before I take these pads out of the caliper I want to spread them out a bit to make room for the new pads I want to try using this tuning fork thing I have <laughs> use a screwdriver too. You don't want to use a screwdriver on the new pads because you scratch them up, but it'll do okay for the old pads because you're not using them again. That should work. Alright, now let's get these pads out of here. There's a little spring clip in there that holds these pads in place. Gotta pop these tabs out of their channels and then the pads come right out. That one's definitely low. <laughs> it's not much thickness there. Now the other pad are the ones that's really low. That's like scary low. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> those are bad. <laughs> that's why it was sounding funny and feeling sluggish with the brakes. This pad is shot. Now to replace them, I bought an aftermarket brand of brake pads called Niche. There, I bought these Niche brake pads instead of getting the Honda OEM pads. I did that for two reasons. One, I discovered that the Honda brake pads are super expensive. We're talking like $65 per set. And since the Goldwing needs two sets for the front end because it's dual disc, that, was a, that would be $140 just for the brake pads. Whereas these Niche pads, I did some research, they're a good, they're a good quality brake pad too. They only cost $21 a set, $22 I guess, $21.99 or something like that. So $44 versus $140. Yeah, I'm going with the $44 brake pads. I don't know why Honda's so expensive, but no thank you. On the brake caliber, one side has pistons, one side doesn't. So I'll put the pad on first, the, st the static side, no calipers, no pistons. And there's a little spring clip down there, so you just gotta work the pad down, push it down at the spring pad, and then work those tabs into the channels. This is probably the hardest part of the whole process. It's not that it's hard, it's just difficult for 
tricky. If you actually put the tab in at the top end of the caliper first, the spring clip is more, there's more of the spring clip at the top end of the caliper than the bottom end. So you work it in from that side first so you can make it easier on yourself. There we go. Now, hopefully it fits back on the rotor and we can tighten it down. Yeah, there we go. I'll start one of the bolts just to hold it in place. Now you might be wondering why I have to replace brake pads at 23,000 miles. For some of you motorcycle riders out there, do your own maintenance, you might think that sounds kind of low. This is a Goldwing DCT, meaning it's a dual clutch transmission. So, it's an automatic motorcycle, essentially. So what that means is you don't have as much engine braking to downshifting as you would on a normal old-fashioned shifting bike, you know? So because of that, slowing down the gold wing and especially riding it hard in the curves and twisties, you use more brakes than you would normally on a motorcycle. So the brake pads wear faster. Regarding these two caliper bolts, they get torqued down to 31 foot-pounds of torque on each of them. Now the Honda service manual actually says you should replace these bolts every time you take the calipers off and put the calipers back on again, which sounds silly. <laughs> so I called two different Honda shops to talk to their uh, service departments and asked them do I really need to replace the caliper bolts every time I take these calipers off? And both technicians said, neither of them do it. When they take the caliper bolts off, they just put them back on, they torque them to the recommended spec, 30 foot pounds of torque, and that's it. They call it a day. All right, there we go, 30 foot pounds. Well, that's it. Now again, you gotta do it twice because there are two sets of pads on the front of the goal wing. So the other side's the same way, just different side. I'm gonna do that quick. I won't film it because it's redundant. And then I'll hop on the bike and I'll talk a bit about goal wing maintenance because I get a lot of questions of asking is maintenance on a goal wing a lot or is it simple? So we'll go for a test ride and then I'll discuss that while I'm riding. Here's the brake pads from the other side. You can see they're just as bad as the other side was too. So both sides really did need new sets of Brake pads, that one's gone completely, that is bad. Like if I had rode another couple hundred miles or a thousand miles or so with these pads, it would have damaged the rotors probably. That was close. Well, the brakes work, so that's a good thing. <laughs> and the brakes are back to feeling good as new. Although I have to admit, it's a smaller difference than I thought it was. I knew they were feeling a little sluggish and a little worn down, but having the new pads on, yeah, the brakes feel more responsive, they feel better, but it wasn't a huge difference. So those pads are still doing a good job. They were just very, very, very low. <laughs> Way too low. I should have probably changed them out a thousand miles ago. Although it's hard to judge how worn down they are when you're looking at the calipers from, you know, while they're on the bike. You can't get a good angle at it. And the one side of the pad looked pretty decent, which is true. There was still some good meat on the one pad, but the inner pad, the pad towards the wheel, that was the one that was worn down a lot. That's the one you can't see so well when they're installed on the bike. So I gotta keep that in mind next time. The pads on the inside of the bike wear down faster than the pads on the outside from the looks of it. But yeah, so the Honda OEM pads are $65 a set for the front. And since you need two sets, that's $140 for front brake pad replacement on the Goldwing DCT. That's for any of the, the new Goldwings though. It's not just a DCT. When I talked to the Honda dealership, they wanted a little over $200 to change out the front brake pads. So I'm guessing that's, you know, $140 for the pads and then $60 of labor, however you want to balance it out. But that sounds about right. But by buying my own pads, a non Honda brake pad, and by doing it myself, I saved over $160, something like that. <laughs> That's a lot of money saved. And truthfully, doing the brake pad change out wasn't that difficult either. It was pretty easy. 
All you need is some basic tools, a socket set, metric, 14 millimeter socket, and a torque wrench to put the bolts back in. And a big screwdriver to pry the pads, to space out the you know pistons of the pad and stuff. If you have that, you can do it yourself. By the way, forget my dirty windshield. I haven't cleaned it in a week or two, so it's pretty filthy. Now, like I said earlier, changing the front brake pads at 23,000 miles, that's kind of early for most motorcycles. It's, compared to bikes I've owned anyway, compared to Harleys. On Harleys, brake pads work, last about 30 or 40,000 usually. I mean, for me, they do anyway, doing a lot of highway traveling. But since this bike is a DCT, meaning it's automatic bike more or less and doesn't have a lot of engine braking going into curves and stuff while riding. You use the brakes more often than you do on a manual shift bike. So yeah, the brakes are gonna wear down a little faster. But I get a lot of viewers asking me what is maintenance like on a, the new Goldwing, the 2018 and higher versions. And the maintenance isn't too bad, really. There's not a lot to worry about Changing the oils and the filters for the DCT, the, the engine are pretty much the main maintenance item, really. There's not much else to worry about. Brake pads wear faster than other bikes. Tires wear faster than Harleys do. But again, they're cheaper to replace too, so it's almost a wash. I didn't do the pads on the back of the bike yet. The, the, rare brake pads because those look pretty good yet i can see those a little better both sides of the pad were look pretty good but i might change about this winter just for peace of mind i mean for, again from the honda that the rare pads cost 75 dollars for a set you can buy aftermarket for like 35 40 so that's not too bad it's like half what honda charges and again i doubt it's too bad to replace them you know myself Oh. oh, that's right. They're redoing the parking lot, the Pagoda, so. They have the road closed. Well, I guess I'm not going to the Pagoda today. I'll have to come check it out then later on, see how they did. That's all I want to do for this video, pretty much. Just, going, just wanted to change my front brake pads and film it while I was doing it. Make a video of it while I was doing it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. All right, well, I can't get to the Pagoda from the looks of it, so I'm not gonna buy a try and I'll just go this way instead. You know what? I'm going down this road, see where this goes. I forget. So on that note, I'm gonna end the video here. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe, take care. And see you in the next video. Later on.